overnight, I've become orange. I am being followed by a penguin. Friends tell me I smell like cabbage. P.S. My girlfriend's vegetarian. I swallowed a fly. I don't know why I swallowed a fly. I swallowed a spider to catch the fly. I am now facing a number of difficult options. You're right, Boz. The page of the local paper is kind of strange today. This week, every letter on that page is mine. I intend, gentlemen, to take over the daily news, page by page, until I control the entire contents. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Why are you being so stubborn? Why are you going on and on about this? Kyla, I am not going to give you a radio show. Being a radio presenter is a very uncertain occupation. Only a few hit the big time. It's easy to find yourself moving from station to station. Mom. I think you could do a lot better in a profession, in a regular job. Nobody else in the media is worried about getting their kids a job. I made a list. Weather forecasters, presenters, DJs, comedians. Did you hear a word I just said? No. I'm not going to be put off anymore. I will get this job, whatever it takes. Don't be ridiculous. You have your schoolwork to do. You have... You don't say that to the other kids. They're not mine. Hypocrite. Dad would let me do this. Don't you bring your dad into this. You're getting between me and my life. Dad wouldn't do that. Well, then you just try him. Try him because I can't handle you anymore. Then don't. That was Mother and Child Reunion by Paul Simon. So, Tony, what have you got for us after the news? A bunch of bonzer tunes, Kathy, to put a spring into anybody's step. And may I say how bouncy you're looking this fine afternoon? Thanks. I've never heard so much nostalgia music. It was like radio menopause in here. I was just thinking of the good times long ago before I came here. It's not the Sunday schedule getting you down, is it? All that pressure, all those risks. That's the good part of my life, Tony. That's the bit I'm proud of. Sure. But have you thought how bad you're going to feel when, I mean, if it fails? The news is almost over. You're due on air. James, before you open your mouth, understand that I'm in a very bad mood. So no chat-up lines, right? Jax, I need you. Go on, rub it in. What's up? I need your studio skills. Well, there's some stuff I have to get sorted out for the show tomorrow. Can't it wait? No, this has got to be right now. Come on. So have you got something that needs fixing, or is this just an excuse to get me alone? If so, can we close the blind? I don't want to do anything intimate in front of Tony. Not now. I need a favor. I want you to help me make a demo tape. Oh, I get it. No. Jax, you don't understand. I had a row with Mum this morning. A serious one. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but... I need this. No tricks, no pleading, no bribery. I was looking forward to the bribery. Why bother? We're going to go out together sometime, aren't we? I've been waiting for you to ask me again. I've been waiting for you to stop playing hard to get. So, what's the first thing you want in your demo tape? I look like a howler monkey. What? Stephen, people are looking at me in the streets. I have a blotchy face, fat legs, thin arms. Thin arms? Is that bad? I don't know what clothes to wear. I squint. Don't panic, Annie. You're beautiful. Your beauty comes from within. <laughs> and I don't know if you saw it. I mean, you weren't in my living room. But there was this guy. I can't remember his name. And he said, now wait a minute, let me get this right. Oh, no. It was what he did. He went like this. It was really funny. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, right. How was I? Um, well, there's nothing that can't be fixed. Let's start with the concept of doing hand gestures on the radio. Ah, the 50s. The time before there were children. Don't 
Don't you tell me what to do. Look. No, I know how to do it. Let me do it. Kyla, how are you going to learn if you... I'll find a better teacher. Somebody who knows what they're talking about. Knows what they're talking about? You do that. Welcome back to my new Sunday night talk show. I need your studio skills, Jack. Never gonna need my studio skills. Which is fortunate, really, because I don't have any. Oh no. She's not with me. Oh. Okay. So, what are you filing? Records. I tried sandwiches, but the filling went everywhere. Anything good? You're being irrelevant. You're never irrelevant. What's up? Nothing. This is that look you do instead of being upset. Are you and Kyla having romantic complications? No. Come on, you can tell me. I can't. You'd be out of that door so fast, you'd bend the space-time continuum. Mate, I wouldn't immediately go after Kyla. I don't... Him. You can use my farm, but you tell the chickens. <laughs> Welcome back to Kyla Live. So I shouldn't get any closer than this. That's right. You're learning fast. <laughs> they even took the one about the giant ants. But you mean giant ants? No. Look under marriages. <laughs> hey, here's a photo. Oh, yeah. You have got it bad. Kinda hasn't talked to me. She hasn't called me. She won't look at me when we pass in the corridor. That's usually how she treats me. Is this just because you tried to help her with the radio? Yeah. She isn't the girl I thought she was. She's more like you. That is tough. So how bad was that demo tape? Check it out. I made a copy during the session. Boss, how are you doing this? I have a small following in the lower ranks of the newspaper staff. There are still one or two columns I haven't infiltrated, though, such as I Saw You. I Saw You? What's that? It's where kids write in and say they saw someone they thought was cute, but didn't have the courage to... Hey. I don't want to hear anymore. It might be catching. Annie, listen. I saw you in the school playground on Thursday. You wore a rainbow-colored pullover with a City Beat FM badge on it. I'm too shy to talk to you, but I think you're beautiful. Anonymous. That is what I was wearing on Thursday. You see? Someone thinks you're beautiful. Then they obviously need glasses, more friends, and a psychiatrist. I'm interviewing people for my talk radio show, Rachel. Oh, right, you've heard. I've had Belinda talking about Alison's pony, and Diane going on about those marks on Sarah's neck. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> really? How did you do that? So what did the nurse say? No. Wait a second. Let me get this. Really? That's interesting. I'll get back to you. Come in. Sorry, see ya. Jax, wait. Listen. I've been thinking about the other day. I've been thinking about it too. I shouldn't have been so quick to tell you where you were going wrong. I've made some notes, but only if you want to read them. You're saying I'm no good at being on the radio? Well, I am. You just don't know talent when you see it. Fine. That's it. You do whatever you want. I'll see you, maybe. <laughs> Boyfriend trouble? Not anymore. He doesn't appreciate my talent. Well, I do. And I'm the boss.
Still Kyla problems. Still. You got another one. What does it say this time? I saw you again on Sunday night at Sally's Cafe with your DJ mates. You're even more beautiful than you were before. I need to get my courage up, but one day I will talk to you. Wow, this guy's really into you. It is flattering, but he does sound rather serious. You got dressed up today. This was just what was on the top of my clothes pile. Kyla, wait. I've been expecting this. Because Jax and I are having problems, you think you must stand a chance. Go ahead, use whatever line you're going to use. Why are you doing this to Jax? He... He made me feel like an idiot. In the studio, when I was making... No, that doesn't fit. You know as well as I do, he's a techie boffin. You'd want to learn as much as you could from him. I was expecting him just to show me the equipment, not get on his high horse. For all the attention you pay to him, you may as well have asked me. You wouldn't have worked with me unless I went out on a date with you. That isn't what I said that time. I was trying to be charming. And I got it wrong. You're not interested. I got that when you threw me onto the sofa. I decided then that I probably didn't want to go out with you. Do you know what I think? Usually. I think you've discovered that when Jax gets involved with a girl, it's serious. You don't know how to handle that, so you shout at him. Stop hurting him. If you can. You're not the boy I thought you were. Would you look for me, please? Why haven't you? Well, at first it was fun, having a secret admirer. But today at school, I just spent all day looking around, wondering who it was. I saw you again, drinking a bottle of mineral water in the dining hall. No, that is me. You're as gentle and natural as a sunrise, and the sound of your voice is like rain heard on the windows of a comfortable room. Oh, dear. Do, do you think he's all right, mentally? Yeah. He's just being poetic. Stephen, what if he tries to talk to me or gets me in a corner? What am I going to do? Well, Annie, he just seems like this normal guy who likes you and... You can't see the problem, can you? Then it's just me, worrying about the wrong things as usual. I'll come back when I've grown up. Bye. Annie! Did you have anything to do with this? Yeah. I thought Kyla deserved a break. And what do you think of it? I think it's rubbish. I'm sorry I helped her. I'm sorry I broke your rule. I'm, I'm just sorry. Not as sorry as I am. Out. Out now. I listened to your demo tape. Mom, I cannot believe it. It's just gossip. Rumors from school. Who's lost their virginity? Who's a slag? Mom, wait. It's a nasty, pointless little show. It does nothing to make the world a better place. What's wrong with you, Kyla? There's nothing wrong with me. Trust me. Trust you? You went to Tony Horton behind my back. He's helping me. I know what I'm doing. Oh, no, you don't. Everything about this tape is terrible, including your radio skills. And instead of working on them, you're manipulating. Mom, I have to do what I have to do. In order to do it, you need talent, dedication, hard work. Things that you don't want to bother with. You just don't have what it takes. And you have. Oh, you're a real success. Station after station until we end up here. You couldn't keep Dad. What? You've never made anything work, anything. That's why you don't want me on the radio. You failed and you don't want me to do better than you. I will not allow you to make the same mistakes that I did. Oh, don't worry, Mum. I won't. I'm going to win. Kyla? Hello, Mr. Horton. When Cathy popped in to see you before, did I see a cassette in her hand? It was a demo tape I made. I want to be part of the Sunday lineup. 
But Mum doesn't want me to have a show. Dear old Cathy. She can be a bit of a stick in the mud. If you've got the tape, I'd love a listen. I can tell a good show when I hear one. Thank you, Mr Horton. I'd love to hear your professional opinion. Tony. Stephen, have you seen the evening paper? Yeah, I saw you. Handsome American City Beat FM DJ. Guess that's me. You're the only American DJ we've got. I'm not counting Kathy. Be at Sally's Cafe at six o'clock this evening. If you want to have tea with a beautiful woman. Files, did you have anything to do with this? Stephen, you've read my contributions. Does that sound remotely like me? No, I guess not. Files, it's all got silent and everything. It's like a library in here. What's going on? It seems that Kyla and Jax aren't talking, and James and Kyla aren't talking because Kyla won't talk to Jax. And James and Jax won't talk in front of Kyla. It's given me enough material for all of next week. Have you seen Stephen? Oh, yes. He left in a great hurry. He said he had to get to Sally's Cafe by six. Why? If you find out, perhaps you'd tell me. <sighs> I've thought about it. And for once, I can honestly say, none of this is my fault. Isn't that great? Okay. I've been watching all this. Yeah, a little bit too closely. Oh, boy. Hmm. Nice place you've got here. We'll keep it. What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? I wanted to tell Kyla that I listened to her demo tape, and I think it is wonderful. <laughs> Almost flawless, in fact. You're a fantastic broadcaster. Well, congratulations, Kyla. This is the same demo tape I heard. Mm. The one with the juggling. Exactly, and it's officially great. The one which is all about this girl called Rachel, and includes in-jokes that only Rachel would understand. And actually, Rachel would need diagrams. James. That tape was terrible. Well, it doesn't matter what you think. Mr. Horton, Tony, is in charge. How dare you, Tony? What are you talking about? Playing games with Kyla. You told her her audition tape was wonderful. It was. That's why I'm putting it on air. As of Sunday, Kyla will have her own radio show. No, you can't. I won't let you. I thought you'd be pleased. The board were delighted that I'd finally got behind your young DJ's project. They'd never let me remove a DJ from the Sunday schedule, but they don't mind me adding one. You monster. I know why you're doing this. And why is that? You want Kyla to fall on her face. She'll sound terrible. She'll make all the kids sound terrible. You're using her. Am I? She's doing it all herself. She's a kid, Tony. Please. Just for a moment, think how much you're going to hurt Kyla. <laughs> if, if that audition tape is any evidence, she'll fail, she'll crash, and she'll bring all of her friends down with her. Her confidence, her self-esteem. Please don't do this, Tony. Too late. It better not be too late. For your sake. We all have to do what we have to do. Ah, right. So you're the beautiful woman. Sorry? You didn't leave an ad in the I Saw You column? I'm going to meet a beautiful woman at six. Oh, sorry. I'll go. No, no, stay. Are you nervous about meeting her? Uh, maybe a little. So I wasn't being silly to worry about my own admirer. No, you weren't. Sorry. I'm glad you understand. I was getting so edgy. I was going to ask you to walk me home tonight. Annie, you're a mysterious admirer. The guy who placed those ads. That was me. You? Why? Uh, to make you feel better about yourself. I'm sorry. It's a lovely thought, Stephen. Not your fault, but I'm just not ready. 
You still want me to walk you home? Your beautiful woman will be here any minute. Maybe I'm not ready either. Come on. You're turning down an admirer just to walk me home. You'll never find out who placed the advert. That's cool. And coming up after the news, a new show. Kyla Live. Local news headlines on the hour. A town planner has voiced concern over the condition of bridges in the area, particularly those crossing railway lines. A local hotel turned away touring rock band. Who's that? And a mother's tearful Probably some mate of hers who's a comedian. Come on, I can't bear to watch. Weather tonight, the unseasonal cold snap continues with a strong possibility of frost. This is City Beat FM. Hi. This is Kyle Alive, and we have a show for you this evening. But you knew that. <laughs> I have somebody here in the studio. My guest this evening, local councillor Brian Wingate. So, councillor Wingate, I hear you collect stamps. That's right, Kyla. And thanks very much for letting me on the show to talk about it. But first, I want to talk to you about the pedestrian crossing you had built on the corner outside Oldfield School. A basic zebra crossing. No lights, no signs, and in the most dangerous possible place. In fact, three children were struck by cars there this year. Tell me, Councillor Wingate, how can you sleep at night? Well, you see, uh, it's... It's your fault. No, the... the... Clever girl. Pedestrian crossings is a matter of... That you're in charge of. Uh, my sources Clever say girl. you've got the budget for an extension She's to your office. Good. Why don't you have the budget she for is a good. Of She's not only good, she's cunning. This is Kyle Alive. And we're here until Councillor Wingate has answered a long list of very difficult questions. I asked you to trust me. I'm sorry for what I said. I couldn't tell you. It's all right. Everything is all right. I am so proud of you. I think maybe you could make a career out of this. We could. I'm going to need a lot of advice from you. And Tony Horton? Will you still be taking tutorials with him? I think he's learned all I've got to teach him. <laughs> mm. I knew the only way to get Tony to let me go on air was by making him think I was rubbish. I couldn't tell any of you what was going on because you might have accidentally tipped off Tony. I'm really sorry. I wanted to explain, but... Oh, no problem. I'm just blown away by how your mind works. Um, Kyla, can I have a word? What I said earlier about not wanting to go out with you now... That was so wonderful. You stood up for your friend, and you were honest about my show in front of Tony. You really have got hidden depths. Have I? Okay. So I, I was just wondering... Maybe you'd like to go out for a pizza one night. This isn't a dream. You're asking me out. So all this time, all I had to do to go out with you was to not want to. I suppose. In that case, no, I don't want to go out with you. That means yes. You're asking him out. I'm asking both of you out, uh, eventually. I may date both of you and find out which is best. We'll see. Nice show. <laughs> <laughs> 